Hi guys, my name is Diego and in this video we're going to be doing a piano tutorial on the song Deck the Halls, a holiday classic, hope you guys like it, check it out. Welcome to the Hit Music Studios channel. Here we do regularly song tutorials and videos with tips and techniques to get you guys to learn music the fastest and the easiest way possible. So please consider subscribing. Let's go to a close-up of the piano so we can get started. <laughs> so for this song, and by the way, forgive me if there's a good amount of like noise, uh, there's multiple classes going on around me and I usually shoot these tutorials when we are closed. But let's start with the right hand. So three sections, first line. a little bit slower I'm doing G F E D C D E C and I would take that and practice it multiple times one finger per key we're not really moving sideways and definitely think of the second note that F as a passing one so G go quickly on the F to D and then pretty much we have quarter notes after that I will practice that stop the video do that maybe 10 times then go to the next little section of that uh, first line which is gonna be this so D E F D E, all the notes even, except the last one is a little bit longer, but very even and steady, and I will practice it multiple times. Again. Now, once you get good at that, I will do this third part of that first line, which is gonna be D C D C. And there I'm crossing over with my finger two to reach a finger, to reach the B and then back. So I'm doing D C D C. And important to when you're crossing try to keep your hand in the same position so we're just kind of like I guess lifting the finger go over and then go back so we're not taking your hand out of position on that which is pretty critical so if I do the whole first line it's gonna be Now the good news is that repeats uh, almost three times uh, identical the second line and then it changes a little bit once you do the last line. But let's talk a little bit with left hand of that first section. So once you can do that, I would go the, each section individually, but once you get good, start joining the left hand. The left hand is gonna be fairly easy. C and G for the first block, twice. Then we're gonna do F, G, and then C and G. So it sounds like this. F, G, and then at that end I'm playing like a G and a C, so if I go slowly it's going to be F, G, G again, and then C and G. So that same thing, I, my, my advice would be do it slowly and take the little section and repeat it, so that way you are clear into what's going on. So that you can do it twice, line one and two are identical. Now let's talk a little bit about line three, which is probably the hardest one of the song. So we're gonna do it also in, I guess, in little sections. So I would say section one is this. Again, so slowly I will repeat just that section, D, E, F, D, then E, I will do that multiple times. Now, right after that, there's a, a important change because we're reaching all the way to this C, but we don't have eight fingers, so we need to do a little bit of a, almost like a scale and repeat some fingers. So it's gonna go like this. I'll play it from, I guess, the next part. You're gonna, you're gonna practice this. Three, one, two. So I'm doing finger three on E, but then I'm in, when I play the F, instead of doing finger four, I'm gonna do a finger one, finger two on G, and then I keep going to finger three on A, finger four on B, and finger five on C. So I would practice this. Just that, so three, one, two, three, four, five. And of course I'm going, so E, F, G, A, B, C. Just practice that. I will repeat it multiple times, and after that you come back down to so B, A, G. So once you put that whole line together, it sounds like this. Now that one is a tricky line. I have seen hundreds of students like really struggle, especially using the correct finger. So just to cover one more time, three on E, one on F, two on G, and then like a scale, three on A, four on B, five on C, back down. So it's not gonna sound right. It's 
gets really clumsy if you don't want to do it with the correct fingers. It takes a little bit of discipline to relearn it correctly, but it's going to pay off because this is not a slow song either. So let me play it with two hands. Uh, I'll play just the left hand first, so G, again G, and then it's going to be C, F, then F sharp, G. So nothing to it other than I would say finger two on the F sharp, but slowly together, two hands. that so there it does get a little bit tricky because you're doing three one two then three with the F then probably two so again also little sections I will go add them and repeat them so they get strong and they get coordinated and you don't want to be doing the wrong fingers so let's cover the last line it's pretty easy same as the beginning Have a little bit of a change we're going to do a a a a g f e d c and my recommendation there is to move all the fingers to the right so you can hit hit with the hit the fives on a pinky on a so you're going to do a a a a g f e d c and then for the last two when you're running out of fingers you can probably cross over and reach that c so last line with two hands move your right hand So there at the end, just to cover it, two hands, F and A, then two Gs, then G again. And on that last line, I think there's probably a couple of options in terms of like what fingers can you use. Definitely thing on line three, which is where we have the, I don't think those fingers are negotiable in terms of like changing them and making it sound good. So that concludes the video. If you guys want to see other tutorials, we recommend this one. And also for videos with tips and techniques, you can watch this one. See you guys very, very soon. Take care. Happy holidays.